Virginal and a video present, Aidan Gillen, who plays James Joyce in James Marsh biopic movie Dance First. Thank you, Aidan. Thank you. Brilliant and impressive, your Joyce. How was your meeting this emblematic big Irishman? Yeah, well, I suppose the, the thing there is to not get too daunted about playing icons. I've played a few real people before, so I wasn't afraid of it. Um, and my experience had been uh, when I'd done it before with people you may or may not know, an Irish comedian called Dave Allen, uh, our ex-prime minister called Charlie Hawhey, and uh, a, f a few others. Um, yeah, don't be afraid of it. The, the research is there. There's like so much, um, even with uh, Joyce, it's so well documented. There's plenty of stuff to go, go down the rabbit hole of uh, research with. And, you know, a, a lot of your, your work is done. Um, and it's a cameo, you know, it's, yeah. this, this is a film about Beckett. Yeah. So it's just, a, it's a chapter, not just but a chapter, he, he but a chapter in the thing. Person for yeah, the person. important. Uh, yes, and I, I think one of the things he taught him was to just, that he wasn't going to teach him anything. Yeah. It was like, just go for a walk with me, um, take me home, uh, take some notes, do your own thing. Which, uh, you know, I think that's essentially what I was trying to get across. I wasn't sure what the spark was between them, but the, there definitely was a spark between them, but they're so different. The stylistically, they're completely different. Mm -hmm. And if there's anything um, that Beckett learned from Joyce, or one of the things he learned from him was to, uh, that he already was a genius, he didn't need help. Yeah. Well, what was the main challenge for creating on this, in the process of, of this character? Um, just a short amount of time, you know, you've got like three or four days to shoot your scenes. I like playing the lead, or you're there for five, six weeks. Yeah. Playing four days, five days on a film, which is what it was like on this, is just yeah. harder, because it's not about, not about you. Yeah. It shouldn't be, but you know, um, you've got to uh, just make it happen a bit quicker. Hmm. Um, and also not to get too caught up with impersonation and to trust the director and the editor and the cinematographer. So I hope it's okay. What do you think when, when you saw the movie? Uh, it's very uh, interesting part. Samuel Beckett is a human being mm. and he's very sensitive part of a part of his life. You as a, uh, not uh, the an actor, but, but from outside, what do you think? I don't know. I mean, I think people uh, misinterpret Beckett and Joyce and lots of other artists all the time because they, you know, they think it's either too intellectual or too austere. Beckett's plays are often presented in a far too austere, cold manner. You know, Beckett's favorite actor was Buster Keaton. Um, he made a short film, he tried to get Buster, he tried, wants to get Charlie Chaplin, couldn't get Charlie Chaplin, yes. got Buster Keaton. Um, Joyce also, you know, people think it's intellectual, um, get, like games almost, and it, it is in a way, but also James Joyce was a very earthy, very earthy, yeah. corporeal person who loved, uh, you, you know, writing and loved art, but also loved drinking and sex and you know, just the gritty um, reality of um, life. You know, he, li he liked living in, uh, being among the people and doing what, you know, I don't think he had placed himself in any other echelon. Um, so that's pretty interesting. I think uh, as more than any other Irish uh, writers, and they were both top of their game and are, you know, world leaders in, in, in literature. Uh, they can be a little bit misunderstood or placed on a pedestal yeah. in a way that's not helpful for the interpretation of it. I would like to ask you about TV shows and movies. Mm -hmm. the difference because uh, a lot of actors uh, prefer to, to have a part of TV shows. And last time we, we saw a lot of very interesting sh TV shows. And, for example, your famous and emblematic characters in the, uh, for example, Lord Bailish or um, Abraham Gold, mm -hmm. a lot more. 
And did you miss this uh, that period? Uh, if I'm not wrong, you did not any TV show after 2020? Uh, the last one was. Yeah, maybe. I mean. So, last three years, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, um, I, I love doing that. that the TV scenario changed completely during my own career from. You know, my first jobs were all in TV and they were with BBC, which was a really good company to work yeah. for. Uh, but they were usually one off, you know, it's two weeks here or three weeks here, not um, what's the, the current uh, model, which you can, you can work on something that's as good as a really good book or as good as a really good film that runs for seven years and it's got some of the best storytelling and production and acting that you'll see anywhere between movies or TV or theatre. Um, during that time, though, uh, I did go back and do theatre for the first time in like in ten years or something, which was that was that was actually really interesting because it's uh, just harder work and uh, more rewarding. Um, I don't miss it. I'm, I'm I feel lucky to have got Very the break, got the breaks. Long process. Yeah, I mean it's all a long process. The theatre sort of is a long process because you got you can't get it wrong. It's okay. You can get you know, with TV and film. You can get it wrong, and that's what's good about it. You can just be really loose because you're allowed to get it wrong whereas on the theatre you can't get it wrong because uh, you just can't <laughs> um, you know there's 700 people there who will are looking at you and you just can't get it wrong um, so it was nice to get back to um, my roots but I do feel lucky to because I started out in theatre all my first 10 years of work was theatre I've been doing it since I was 13 um, I saw Gabriel who plays uh, who plays Beckett in the film? In he did the theatre show in Ireland again about three years ago, which was like, amazing. It was him, you know, just talking about his recollections of a life of work in uh, theatre, film, and TV, um, and that was really inspiring. Actually, it's, it's harder. It's more dangerous, and that's again that's the what what uh, one of the lines I have in, in this as Joyce is to impart to Becca that, you know, it's not, yeah, what we write, it's how we write, and that you must write dangerously. Because danger is attractive, you know. Thank you very much, Mr. Gillen. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, pleasure. Thanks.